I don't know how well you guys can see the fall colors, but they're they're coming in a little bit. I have no idea when I'm going to actually post this. Knowing me, it'll probably be in the dead of winter. <laughs> Gosh, I think it's like 50, 50, something like that degrees Fahrenheit, of course. Because we're in Marco, we don't deal with that Celsius stuff. We're 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 die-hard fans of the archaic ways of of King Henry and his 12-inch long foot. <laughs> So they call it a foot. But I digress. I came over to this nifty little dock and this enormous flock of ducks buggered off. There's still some over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. <coughs> They're giving me a wide berth. That tells me that uh, <laughs> people that come to this park kind of aren't all that nice to ducks because <laughs> you figure you know I go to some parks oh boy people give me the bread and you come to this one they all, they all fly away they went way over there somewhere I don't know but uh, it's all good anyway I just wanted to uh, try to get some of the fall colors before they all died it's, it's, it's tricky in West Virginia because it starts to get purdy, and then, like, you have a day where it's just gorgeous, and then there's, like, a frost or, or a, a freak snowstorm or something like that, and it just, oh, it just takes everything out. This is what, uh, kind of, the end of October is when I'm filming this, I think. So this will be up... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I schedule everything. It drives people nuts sometimes because every time I give an update, they're always uh, a month behind what's actually going on with a llama. But what are you going to do? It's a system. It works for me. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, there's some ducks. There's some pretty colors. I don't kind of question how well they're coming out on this camera. I'm shooting this on a uh, Nikon Coolpix and although it is a decent little camera um, kind of getting the impression that it's it works better in high light uh, close up environments and every camera has its own personality the only way to change a camera's personality is if you can attach different lenses to it and kind of tweak and modify your work so it'll it'll kind of optimize what what your uh, scenery is kind of thing. Um, can't really do that with this. <laughs> I mean, I have a a little a little zoom capacity, but. Uh, as far as the lens goes, you get what you get, you know what I mean? But, but you know, it was cheap. It's a good little camera. And, uh, you know, it has it has served me well. Just afraid you're not going to get all the colors. No, I see some colors on the screen, but everything looks kind of like a yellowy green, which really isn't what's going on over there. Kind of bugs me sometimes. But, uh, you know, I had a photographer once tell me, and this is some solid wisdom, so you, 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 you fellers listen up out there. Um, never blame your equipment. You know, there's always something you can do in editing, whether it be if something is grainy, well, take it in the grayscale, make it look grainier, you know. <laughs> if something... Uh, doesn't have uh, the right colors in it, you know, touch it up a little bit, things like that. But uh, never blame your equipment. You know, you just have to be creative and uh, be glad you have what you have and work with what you got. So 
I need to take that advice. I think about him saying that to me. Um, and the guy does like weddings, and he's got all kinds of equipment and fancy stuff and recording stuff and a microphone for every day of the week. And you know, he's telling me that my crappy camera is 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 good enough. I need to be happy with it and uh, figure out its personality and work with it and stop making excuses. <laughs> you know, he's right though. I mean. Have you guys seen some of the uh, utter crap that uh, that uh, goes viral on this site? I mean, you know, it's all about what the person is doing or what they're saying. You know, it's almost like quality comes in second, I guess. Huh, I guess this turned into a little rant. I kind of didn't expect that, but I'm glad uh, glad I was able to get that out of the way. It's something I've been thinking about for a while. Because it's like, I'm poor, I'm broke, wah, boo-hoo. I need better equipment, wah, boo-hoo. You know, and I'm, and I'm thinking like, I have four cameras, dude. I mean, honestly. What do I need another camera for, even if it's better... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and most cell phones take better pictures than this thing, and everybody's got a cell phone. I don't, but, you know. Anyway, um, I digress. I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. I, I just, I don't care anymore. It's a hobby. You know, do what makes you happy. And, uh, and I'm out. Quack. See the quackers? Yeah.